how did the fossils, the coarse fossils, get in the middle of the bed? Mm -hmm. That is the mind-challenging thing. I could imagine how they could get at the bottom of yep. the bed, just yep. fall out, mm -hmm. or I could imagine how they get to the top of the bed, but how could they get in the middle? That, that was really interesting. And how'd you figure that out? Well, I'm thinking about the sand flowing out. I'm looking at those leaf fragments and I'm thinking in the wake of a, of a high speed flow, there could be a turbulent eddy and that's how the nautiloids could fall out with the sediment. Concentrated sediment would fall out first and then the, the fossils would be buoyed up and they, they, would, they, they would fall out and then finally the light stuff. Uh, the, the, the finer texture would fall out. And so the, it seemed to explain things. In no friction land, I can imagine how this occurred. I, I worked out the equations in 2D of, um, of a dynamic pressure and static pressure on a fast moving flow. You know, when you have your hand out in the car right. at 60 miles an hour, you feel that really strong mm -hmm. uh, f a current that's flowing past your hand. That's called dynamic pressure. And a fast moving slurry, like a mud slurry with lots of, of organisms in it, would generate that kind of pressure. The faster it goes, the more pressure it develops. When that pressure developed in front is equal to the weight, the submerged weight of the flow, the mm -hmm. mud flow, if you will, it causes a, a property called hydroplane. Hmm. And in hydroplane, there is no friction with the surface underneath. Just like what happens on the highway. Just like what on the highway. So this thing, by its speed, it generates its own cushion, if you will, mm -hmm. that m makes it detach from the earth. And it, it flows on a hydroplane. So all those particles are suspended in their same position and then traveling at a very fast rate. Yeah. So the boundaries of this thing are high shear, but the internally, this thing is very laminar mm -hmm. and it flows along almost endlessly and with low friction.